Not everyone is born with the same abilities. But that doesn't mean we can't do the same things. Blindness actually is a condition that um, brings in several limitations. But these limitations actually can be uh, uh, brought down with the help of technology. Even though some people don't see the sunrise, <laughs> but they know how it feels. I see life very differently and everything it offers. I was traveling on a street and there was a truck which was parked on the side of the road and my white cane actually could not detect it because the chassis of the truck is high and my white cane actually went below the chassis and my head actually banged against the body of the truck and obviously it was not the truck but my head that got hurt. This fear or not being able to detect the obstacles would dissuade many people from even stepping out of the house. This big problem was actually then posed to the brilliant minds at IIT Delhi. This endeavor began back in 2005 when we were students and this was a student project where we were posed the challenge of basically figuring out one of the problems or challenges being faced by the visually impaired community and then coming up with a technological solution for it. So that was the birth of the smart cane. I get up like any other person. Breathe the early morning air. Strive to always reach on time. Work like there's no tomorrow. And take the much needed breaks. Because nothing waits. It's just that we have to catch up with life. There was a 14 year old boy who was visually impaired and his family, his mother and his brother were also present. So while using the device, like the boy was using it perfectly fine, but the joy that was there in his family's, in his mother's eyes was what motivated us. IITs have traditionally focused on academic research. Development of a device like this poses a challenge that it's not only technology development, but it's user-oriented technology development. The world will always throw challenges. We do face situations that we don't see coming. But then there are things that we can rely on and help us live a life filled with additional barriers. The idea was to develop a small detachable unit that fits on the top fold of the white cane. It has an ultrasonic transmitter that produces a beam which projects in front and is able to detect obstacles from knee till head height. The distance information is conveyed to the user through varying vibration patterns which change as the user is approaching the obstacle. And the idea of using vibrations is because the environmental sounds, for example, from vehicles or from people are very important for persons with blindness to orient themselves and we did not want to cause interference in that particular mode. Hence the vibration output is very convenient. Apart from the ranging element of this device, it's a very user-friendly product. For example, people with different heights and gripping styles can use this device with an angle adjustment mechanism and with an ergonomically designed grip which allows holding in very different uh, ways. Further, the unit is, uh, is attached on the white cane, so just in case the cane breaks, if it comes basically in a cycle spoke, etc., and you can actually replace the cane with a new one easily. user has the flexibility to change the detection range of the device based on the usage scenario. For example, if the device is being used outdoors, then the range can be increased to 3 meters. But at the same time, if you are walking in crowded places, then it becomes, and if your device is continuously vibrating, then it becomes very difficult. You, you may get irritated. At that time, you can reduce the detection range. Nearly 150 users from different locations of India have been using this device. We have personally gone and have trained them. And this device has actually impacted their lives. And they say that their mobility has improved to a greater extent. We worked with the users closely. We understood their requirements and then incorporated their feedback to come out with several user-centric design features. <laughs> The 
smart canes, each and every feature user ratified or user suggested and have been refined over time. And finally, today we believe that we have a product which can be adopted by a large number of users and can be used in their day-to-day -day mobility. When we're actually trying to look at how to take these innovations to the people, uh, Welcome Trust came forward and uh, funded this particular project liberally through one of their schemes called Affordable Healthcare in India. But we still had many challenges. Uh, one of the challenges is to make this particular product better than what is available in the international market, that too at a price which is 120th of what the international market price was. When we were actually trying to address this particular challenge, we found a very able partner, Phoenix Medical Systems Chennai, who actually worked relentlessly with us to make this particular flagship product possible. I feel that roles like this is going to be increasingly played by academic institutions, and then only their relevance in the society will be understood. It uh, allows me to move freely without fear uh, on the road. The smart cane actually brings in a product which has been designed keeping specifically the developing country's infrastructure in mind and it actually works in this whole environment. Sometimes all we need is self-confidence and those little things that make us feel safe things that make us independent and things that help us face life with dignity things that help us experience more and things that change the way we enjoy this colorful world Thank you.